How is it going everybody, NobleWarrior99 here, and today I am back with another Daily Destiny video. Now in this video, I will be discussing all of the new Prison of Elders weapons that can be obtained via a weapon core. Now weapon cores can be received from the level 34 and level 35 arenas for the Prison of Elders. Now a big shout out must go to Planet Destiny and Destiny Database for obtaining this information, but without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now for the most part, all of these weapons perks have been discovered, although there are a few random perks which include Demotion, Dragburn, Mutineer, Disciplinarian, Shankburn, and Vandalburn. Now for the first weapon, we have the Wolf Slayer's Claw. Now this was shown in the Reef Reveal from Varix, so I do believe all of these weapons can be obtained from Varix via the Weapon Core. Now the description reads, its claws are sharp, many, and unrelenting. Now for the perks that this weapon has, it has Crowd Control, it has Flared Magwell, Field Scout, Perfect Balance, and you also have the randomly selected perk which I mentioned before. Now moving on, we have the Shadow of Veils which is a legendary sniper rifle that reads, Judgment on the Unseen is best performed from a distance. Now for the perks that this weapon has, it has Replenish which says this weapon's magazine will be refilled whenever a super is cast. It also has Speed Reload, Perfect Balance, and Extended Mag. Once again, it also has the randomly selected perks which include Demotion, Dregburn, Mutineer, Disciplinarian, Shankburn, and Vandalburn. After that, we have the Servant of Axor, which is a new legendary fusion rifle. Now, the description reads, Burn Away the Ether. For the perks that this weapon has, it has Hidden Hand, which says that this weapon gains better target acquisition, and what I would like to mention is that this weapon has an impact of 97 out of 100. Now, that is absolutely insane. If it wasn't for the charge rate being so slow, I probably would be using this in PvP, but the impact is just insane, and hopefully we will be seeing more use out of fusion rifles like the Servant of Axar. Moving on, we have the 6 Dreg Pride. Now this is a legendary hand cannon, and for the perks that it has, it has Army of One, which reads, unassisted kills with this weapon, reduce grenade and melee cooldown. That seems like it would be great for PvP. This hand cannon also has hand loaded, high caliber rounds, and the extended magazine perk. After that we have the Igis of the Kel which is a legendary pulse rifle. Now for the perks that this has, it has range finder, extended mag, fitted stock, and flared magwell. Now after that we have the wolf's leash which is a legendary scout rifle and the description reads collecting pelts is a good business. Round them up. So I actually really enjoyed that description, I'm not sure about you guys, but I thought that was very clever uh, by Bungie. For the perks that this weapon has, it has triple tap which says rapidly landing precision hits will return one round to the magazine. Now for a scout rifle, this seems like it would be pretty useful, so hopefully I can pick up that weapon for myself. Now this weapon also has the perk snapshot custom optics, and perfect balance. Now for the legendary machine gun, we have the Chain of Orbix Fell. Now the description reads, the destruction of the wolf ship Orbix Fell during the Reef Wars is commemorated for every round fired. Now this weapon has the counterbalance perk, extended magazine, hammer forge, and fitted stock. So this seems like it would be a very good weapon, especially with Dregburn or Shankburn. After that, we have the Wolfborn Oath, which is a legendary shotgun. Now, the description reads, in the pack leader we trust. Now for the perks that this weapon has, it has close and or personal. Now this reads, a short period of 25% bonus melee damage after landing a hit with this weapon. Now in PvP, a shotgun melee combo is especially good to killing your opposing guardians, so hopefully we can see this perk coming to good use in PvP, and maybe even the Prison of Elders or other Nightfall Strikes as well. Now this weapon also has Quick Draw, Hand Loaded, and Lightweight, which grants your character additional stats for agility. Now for the last weapon that we have, we have the Last Rebellion, which is a legendary rocket launcher. Now for the description it reads insurrection will not be tolerated now this weapon has clown cartridge which is absolutely amazing for rocket launchers considering that you can get an extra rocket which is fantastic for pvp now this weapon also has javelin flare and magwell and it increases your agility once again with light weight now in this image on screen that you guys see right here we have a closer look at all of the weapons coming in the Prison of Elders and the House of Wolves. Now, the hype train has begun, guys. I am so freaking excited 
for this new DLC. It comes out in three days. It is Saturday today, and it comes out on Tuesday. So I will be grinding out videos for you guys as fast as I can once Tuesday comes. I actually will be at home, so I will have a chance to make as many videos as I can for you guys. But hopefully you did enjoy this one. Make sure and drop a like down below if you did enjoy, and subscribe for some more daily Destiny content if you have not already. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day, and I will catch you tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. This is Noble Warrior 99, and I'm out. Peace.